So there's the trailer that carries the water slides and bounce house. There's a light here. There's the light. It's all busted up. <clears throat> I don't know if I'll be able to find a replacement, but I'm going to try. <laughs> and then there's another smaller one that I know I will get that replaced. That one goes right there. Also notice my toolkit. Every time I go back to my toolkit, it looks worse than before, and it's because of my kids. Because of my kids, you know. So I'm gonna have to get a new toolkit. And what I'll do is the new one, I'll hide it so they don't know where it's at, and I'll leave that one for them to play with. So, you know, and of course, I got my. I also have to buy this other trailer, that the smaller trailer, and I got my. You know, I got my coupons. You know, I got 25% off, plus I get these items free. You know what I mean? Yeah, there it is, man. Sixty-six dollars and one cent, and I have my new set. I have to buy the set of LED trailer lights, and uh, these are these are better than what I had before. Because you know, what I had before, you have to replace the bulbs when they blow, and you know, it's a pain to do that all the time. So these lights, you never have to replace the bulbs. They're LED and uh, that's great, you know. Like, they also had this style for $24, or they had this style for $54, you know, so, and I got that. And one thing I must say, man, I was, I'm here at O'Reilly Auto Parts, and boy, that guy, <laughs> the guy who helped me was like super helpful. You know, he's super nice, super assistant. I mean, I'm the only, per I'm the only customer in the, in the store. That's usually how it goes. You know what I mean? It's like my reality is always clear. You know, it's like when I'm on my way here, the powers that be say, he's on his way there. Clear the store. Clear the store. If you're there when he gets there, you're going to end up with problems. This guy, he doesn't care about anything. He just cares about himself and he lives a really good life. So you want to clear the store get him some help that's and you better be really nice you know he'll pay whatever price you know <laughs> yeah, yeah that's that's how i imagine my reality you know after the fact after the fact after i have the wonderful experience that's how i explain it to myself in a fun joyful way so now i'm on my way to the other store where i may have um just busted my program because i talked too much about you know so now i might run into trouble but hey we'll see how it goes and i'm gonna go buy uh this is actually a bigger purchase this is a there's a cart that we use to transport the bounce houses from the trailer to the where it's gonna get, get set up most of the companies i would say 99 percent of other companies use a dolly for that but that's like hard work to use a dolly so we use a garden cart and uh, over the, we always have two garden carts. You know, one that we use and the other one for backup. And uh, one of the carts broke last weekend because there was a lot of rain and I don't know, you know, it's like when it rains and you're not, if, when it rains and you're not focused, because what happened is I, I wasn't focused and I did something that I really, sh I, I did something that I, I should have known better and then one of the carts broke. So I'm gonna have to get a replacement, which is about time. Because, I mean, even riding on the carts that we have now for, like, almost eight months. I mean, that's a long time for those carts. So, yeah, now I'm talking too much. So, I'm heading out to the store to get my other purchase. Yeah. You know, driving and talking is actually really easy to do. I've seen where, um, on YouTube, I get commenters saying... Blah, 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 driving and talking, that's not safe. It's just the same as if I had someone sitting next to me right here and I'm talking to him. I turn the camera on, I put it down. I'm not looking at the camera. You know, I could if I want to for a second, you know, but I'm looking at the road and I'm talking. It's just like having a conversation with a passenger, you know? So driving and talking is easy. There's nothing to it. You know, come on now. Come on now, don't be stupid. You know, I mean, come on, don't be stupid talking about. You shouldn't be driving and driving a camera and driving the same toy. Come on, man. So this is my the garden cart that I came to purchase. You know, that's what we use instead of a dolly. It's called a steel mesh wagon. 
All I gotta do is take this tag out of here. All right. Plus my 25% off, you know. You can tell what kind of city I live in. <laughs> and a toolkit. This is gonna be wild because they have so many options for toolkits here. But um, I'm not, I'm not a, I don't use them that much, so I don't think I'm gonna have to go ham on toolkit. <laughs> Whoa, like this is fair, $39. But I'm gonna have to start recording and really think about what I wanna do about this toolkit, you know? There it is, $79.99 minus 25%, my new price, $59. And um, that that 25% only came off that cart thing. <laughs> I didn't get the 25% off the, off the tool kit. And my tool came to $106 with the tool kit. And I got me a free um, headlamp. It's like, I never had one of those before, it's like, like you put us it's a headlamp where you put your strap you know it fits on your head and, and it's a lamp well I mean obviously that's what a headlamp is so yeah and now I'm done shopping for the day and now I'm gonna go home and put all this stuff you know assemble all this stuff uh, assemble the cart because it comes into you know it doesn't it comes in a box disassembled as you can see back there um, and you know it's like man stuff man stuff I have and then Juliana she's waiting for the car it's now 10 a.m. right now and before I even left the house she was like okay um, are you gonna go get you know she's like pressuring me she's like pushing me to get out of the house and do what I got to do because she needs the car to go to the mall to return stuff and buy stuff and get her nails done and you know this is her pamper time and stuff you know so I'll be home doing my thing. She'll be at the mall doing her thing. And that's great. That is great. So I'm really glad to have this brand new toolkit. The first thing I recognize is all the tools that, you know, basically the old toolkit is the exact same toolkit I bought. But there's a whole bunch of tools in here that are missing. <laughs> Because, you know, my kids go in, they take the stuff out, they don't put it back. And no matter what I say, that program doesn't change. So now they can use the old tool kit and I'll hide this one. And that's great. So I got my LED lights. I'm about to install one right here, one over there. And the same thing on the other side. And so And I moved everything inside the garage because it's hot outside. There goes the spaceship fleet. Now all the water slides, bounce houses. Yeah. Now when I'm doing all this, I have my music playing, but when I turn on the camera to record, automatically turns off the music. <laughs> This is pretty easy, you know. Nothing hard about it. It's just getting it done, pretty much. It's like one of those things where I've actually had to do this for like a couple of weeks now. I've been driving around for a couple of weeks with a busted light, you know. And so it's like one of those things where it's not hard, but, but at least now <clears throat> I have better lights than before, you know.
is um, I can't even test it until the car gets, comes back. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty easy. So here's a, clucky, a classic man problem. <laughs> so here's the little light that goes on the side right here. And as you can see, you know, I took off the old one and in this one, that hole isn't big enough to fit this. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to get a drill bit. I already have a drill, but I need the bit big enough for this to drill a hole right here and stick that in there, you know. So I'm contemplating now, should I wait for the car to come back or should I get my bicycle and ride to the hardware store? which you know my bicycle is my main form of transportation and pretty much when I when it comes down to deciding what, it, what I, sh I, I always decide to go on the bicycle <laughs> you know it's like I, I enjoy riding out you know so in fact I'm, not, I'm gonna buy one more of these because I only bought one and because as you can see I'm about to show you this light I replaced before and I had the same problem, but instead of um, drilling a hole, what I did was I just jimmied it up with a with a zip tie, you know. And that and that's just been a couple of months. It's working just fine. So I wasn't gonna do anything about this, but since I'm really gonna, you know, I want to do it the proper way this time. I'm gonna get the drill bit, so I'll, I'll be getting another one of these lights, drill a hole in here, and uh, do this the right way. In fact, I don't think I might. I might just use the same light because it seems like this light right here is in pretty good shape. Why do I have this tape on it? I don't know. If it's busted, I guess I have to get it. I should get another one. It's only like seven dollars. No, it looks it looks it looks pretty good. It's in good shape, All right? So that's what I'm gonna do. True. And uh, yeah, I guess, I guess I am going to get on the bicycle and make it happen. Because I still got to build this thing. You know. This is my other man thing to do today. And I have to re repair one of these uh, water slides. So that's the flow, you know. Um, this, this whole thing about having two cars. I have a, I have a perception whereas I say that. You know, if you can't fit your car inside the garage, it means you're struggling. You know, I call that's the struggle right there. So I can afford, in fact, I can afford to own the car. You know, I get, even if even if I wasn't going to buy the car cash, I get offers and I got an offer in the mail the other day from a credit card company says, you can go to this dealership and pick out any car you want. You're pre-approved for any car you want. I think it was a Honda dealership. You know, no money down. But the thing is, we have a garage that fits one car because we have all these water slides in here. And I don't want to park any car outside the garage because then that's a struggle, you know. I have bicycles. I can get to any store, any place I want to get to. I live close enough that I can get there on my bicycle. And I enjoy that, you know. So until we're ready to upgrade to a bigger garage or a bigger house, which I don't think we're ready for that either, you know. Um, because I mean means a bigger house means more cleaning you know more tax you have to pay a higher tax property tax it's like you know this house is perfect for for our lifestyle you know but hey it's all about the flow if the flow says so then there we go but uh, yeah that's why we don't have two cars you know because I just don't believe in parking cars outside the garage you know, even even the jet skis, I was like, man. But yeah, the jet skis, I will park outside because, you know, I'm not going to be waiting till I get into the house to get a jet ski. I'm getting a jet ski pretty soon or two pretty soon. So, yeah, that's the flow. And this is me. This is my current workshop right now. Doing the thing.
most cool thing is I got 25% off. Let's see? Yeah, Ace Hardware. And I'll, meet, I'll be missing this hardware store. Well, there's a new hardware store about the same distance away though that just got built in another direction. I haven't been there yet, but it looks bigger than this one, so... That ride was interestingly, <laughs> interestingly hot. It's hot outside. On the way to the store, I had to ride against the wind. And man, that was tough, you know? It's always tough to ride against the wind. But what I kept telling myself is, on the way back home, I'll be able to speed because I'll be going with the wind. And so on the way back home, I was trying to speed, but man, it was hot. So, you know, it was a nice ride back home, but not the speed that I thought I was going to... Actually, I was going pretty fast. You know, on that bicycle, I don't realize how fast I'm going until I turn a corner. And I'm like, busting the corner, and I'm way out in the street, like, making a big-ass, wide-ass turn, and there's a car coming in front of me. And I was like, damn, damn, I must have been going fast. Because <laughs> I have to make that corner real wide. So here's my drill bit. $3.99. You know? And that's great. And here's the drill being charged while I was away. I enjoy using the drill. It's so powerful, you know. It's like you're going to drill this now through metal. It's manly. Yes, it's macho. In the flow. Oh, man. man, this thing's gonna take a long time, dog. I'm gonna sit down for this one. So, you know, this wouldn't be a real mantra if I didn't fuck it up. <laughs> it's not really a big mess up, though. This happens all the time. So, I installed this light on this side because apparently there is, there is, there is, there is a right and a left side. I mean, of course there's a right and a left side, but they both look the same to me. So, I ended up installing... What's supposed to be on the right side on the left side so i had to take this off and put this on you know and in a man's world shit happens all the time when you're putting stuff together you know you have that 50 50 chance that you're going to do something like that and it always kind of works out that way that you do something like that and you have to disassemble it and reassemble it the right way you know and I was like eh. I was like yeah I'm just gonna do this without turning on the camera but being that I've been through this so many times where I had to do this I was like you know let me just go ahead and record that uh, I fucked it up and I had to fix the problem but you know no big deal it's easy easily done you know so I'm about to begin Project number two. <laughs> Project number one is complete. I actually, it's interesting because this morning I had the intention to fix one of these lights. You know, one of them was broken for sure. The other three were working. And so I ended up fixing, replacing all four of them. Because the one I want to fix came as a pair. So now, and I, ref and I, I actually went back to the store just now and got this light. So I replaced all four of them and it feels good, you know, 
Yeah. True. Maybe I'll even wash the car too. You know, when I get done with this. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Back to my music now. Just finished washing the car. My 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 boombox battery died. You know, I had my music going the whole time, so I didn't feel like turning up my music just to make a video. And I finished the, the garden cart right here. You know? I've been out here, you know, maybe more than an hour and a half doing this stuff. So now I'm take this car for a spin. What I do, you know, to dry it off, to see the water on it. So I take it for a ride to get it started drying and bring it back and finish drying it, you know. It's just easier to dry it that way. I drive it first and let the wind dry it and then dry it with my hand. Cause if I just dry it with the hand right now, it's gonna take, I gotta do it double time, you know. Whereas if I drive it, it's not that much, you know. So that is the what? The flow.